Okay. <laughs> Date. Time. All right. What is DNA? DNA is technology used to create bodies that capture put that, capture human souls. Oh well, I guess I had to put souls because you can have DNA for everything. So you got like human DNA. Um, uh, I guess it creates human consciousness. Um, what is human conscious? Human consciousness is a fractal of source consciousness. Uh, it he it is the infinite made finite in a particular form or frequency um, <clears throat> uh, the universe is one thing it contains it uh, it, uh, it is uh, it is a thing that exists in several densities or dimensions or frequencies uh, so for instance most of what we see as the universe is um, one dimension of the universe or is of one dimension or a density of matter energy or a frequency of <laughs> some kind of light you could say um someone i don't know who discovered a way to create a technology called dna that that takes the infinite light or consciousness or frequency that pervades the entirety of the universe and it then and, and, and it you create this thing called an individual body uh so you can have you know animal <sighs> You can have animal consciousness, human consciousness, you can have cat consciousness, dog consciousness, human consciousness. You can have individuals of humans, each with their own consciousness. But, but it's all the same thing, you see. The brain doesn't create consciousness. The brain... The brain does not create consciousness the brain tunes it's like a tuning thing uh, into a particular frequency and it creates an illusion of an individual individual self uh, 
It's hard for me to, it's hard to, yeah. Uh, not to put it another way, every you are God in bodily form. And when, 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 when Jesus Christ said he was, he, he was God incarnate, he was speaking about everyone. He wasn't just speaking about himself. He's, he was talking, he, what he was saying is, all of us, all of individual human beings, individual animals, whatever, we are like you take the one, which is the universe, which has consciousness in it, which is a conscious being, and then you take, use the technology of DNA to create individual units, which, so the brain basically, it's like a, a, it grabs, it, you can think of like a, a like someone said, it's like a, it's like a, you, you have a huge universe and you create the, te use the technology of DNA to create small little universes and each of these, so a human being, a human consciousness is an easy, is like a, a small universe in and of itself. Now we are made up of matter and energy and we have a consciousness. And you can think of the universe as like a human being, but it's the universe. You see, the, every human, every animal is a fractal of the whole. It's like a so so the is it's a type of fractal because obviously the universe is much bigger than just uh, you know like human like like. A human is a type, is what the a human consciousness is is what happens when you take use the technology of DNA and you tune the the consciousness in which the the universe is permeated with. You use the technology of the DNA to, to like to create a little bubble and that bubble it's, it's sort of like a reflection of the greater consciousness, but it is it is like tuned to a particular frequency. So like you can even create like when you when you when a, a, a dog or a cat using the technology of DNA, you're you're creating another consciousness, but it's different from a human consciousness, obviously. So I guess the the God or the universe, the source is 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 it's much bigger than what humans are, but um, the human beings or human consciousness is is a particular tuning of consciousness into a particular frequency. No, so we exist in a in a dimension. You know, the, the, we exist in a uh, particular density or frequency or dimension of reality, which is a human reality. A cat will exist in an, in a in a different dimension, density, frequency of reality. The cat's consciousness. You know, a cat is not just the body. The cat is also has a consciousness. And the cat's consciousness. Is existing at a different frequency to the frequency human consciousness exists, but we're all floating in the same uh, reality, which includes both the, which includes de like matter energy density and also uh, densities of the universe that are consciousness. You see, it's it's all part of the same thing. The universe is one big thing, and this the universe ha has both matter, energy. It also has consciousness in it, and uh, you know, and and human beings, individuals, animals. You can even think of plants. You know, um, planets. They all have different. Uh, they're made up of different levels of the universe, you know. DNA is a technology. Uh, I don't know. 
it seems like I don't know who created the original DNA molecule or you know, I don't know who let me put it this way. I think the DNA was created by other intelligent beings. There there seems to be a lot of I'm persuaded that the DNA is created, not created by nature or something like that, but it actually intelligently designed to create these beings that are like containers, you know. <laughs> Uh, the body, uh, the brain is a container or that captures consciousness in a particular frequency. Now, why would someone or something create DNA? I posit, well, it's not my position. The people who created the human DNA or animal DNA, whatever, they are addicted to the frequency of human consciousness. They feed on our conscious states. For instance, there's this idea of Lush. <laughs> you can, you can tell, uh, Google it. Uh, you know, human suffering is addictive to some people. You can even say, you can see this. It's not like, you can see it in a much more tangible form. You see, see, see how people are addicted to power. They're addicted to, you know, fame. There's an addiction to power. Um, and that's why I believe, it's not just me. I believe the reason they created humans is because they want to feed on our souls they want to feed on our states of consciousness usually suffering uh, um, the addicts get off of of this loosh <laughs> uh so when we die i think what happens when we die is we go back to being the universe because right now I am a fractal of the universe. It's like I am I am a, I am a mini universe, right? You think of the universe as this huge thing like it's billions and trillions of galaxies and whatever. I am like an a mini universe. Like I I'm made up of matter and energy and I have a consciousness. And I'm a fractal of the, the universe. I'm a fractal of the universe in the in a human form. The DNA creates this body, and it and it uh, and it configures in such a way that it allows this uni the universal consciousness to be like like um, captured, you know, uh, tuned into this human frequency. <sighs> So when we die, uh, I think what happens is we just become part of the universe again. And it, like I said, I had that experience when I felt calm. I think I think this is, I've heard people say this is like the Hindu term samadhi or sarmadi or something. What is it called? Uh, I think that this. No, it's 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 a. Uh, I mean, it has something to do with yoga, right? No. Is it S A M A D H? I'm not sure if that's the right word, but what I'm going to say is. Uh, I don't know. Is it this? I don't know. But um, it's the idea of losing your individuality and becoming part of the whole. Because right now I feel like I'm a, a, you know, an individual. But when we when this body disintegrates, the I, the thinker. You see, the, 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 there's a difference between the thinker, which is the I, 
and the doer which is the body it's another concept the body is in the world doing things but the i the body will, will cease to exist the doer in the world but the i but the i will will uh, my god every time when i'm trying to make a video there's always some noise but the i will continue to be and it's like uh you know, when you listen to near death experiences and things, you know, I don't think we need to fear death. Um, I think when, uh, uh, when we go through the, you know, when we die, we become part of the universe. Because right now we are trapped. And like I said, this this Earth is a prison planet. I think probably aliens created humans just so they can feed on our souls. That's that seems like a reasonable theory to me i mean you know it's, uh, i don't see the you know we are like sort of they, they use the term called light being it's a, it's a way of saying we are consciousness and we are in we are trapped in this individual bodies um some people think you 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 know you have souls and the soul lives after death and i, I tend to believe that when we die we become part of the universe again the, like like you become at one with everything because right now you feel this like you're disconnected from the universe because you're trapped in this body but when you die you, you become part of that uh the whole you, you the fractal becomes you know, it, 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 you lose your individuality and you become part of the whole. It's not like you die, but you, because you can't, your consciousness is not something you can kill, but but you become part of the whole. So you you you. I believe that when you die, you be you return back to the place where you came from. You you lose your sense of self, your individuality, and you become at one with creation. You become the universe itself. Uh, you know. I think the I think the 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 controllers of the world of planet Earth are farming human beings because they like the frequency of humans. They like the consciousness. They feed on the the suffering of people and you know they're addicts they are addicted to the human frequency um i i'm i i i'm not very i think this planet is really really messed up uh i i think this is this, this is like some kind of a prison planet um mm.